Is MadMonk really the best nootropic supplement for gamers? And does it even work? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna be talking about MadMonk. Now, MadMonk is promoted as the first brain booster for elite gamers. Now, while you would expect a special or very unique formula for gamers, what MadMonk developed is quite a standardized formula. Now, I love their marketing, I love their branding, how they focus uh, on gamers quite a lot with all the content they do. I'm really a big fan of that. But the question is, does MadMonk really work? So in this video, we're gonna talk about my experience with MadMonk, uh, we're gonna talk about the benefits, we'll look at side effects, and in the end, I'll share a special dirty secret that MadMonk has. Let's begin. Now, I used to play a lot of games when I was younger. I used to play uh, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, FIFA 2000, what was it, 10, I think? So it's been quite some time since I was playing games. By the way, are, is Call of Duty and Counter-Strike, are they still popular? I mean, uh, let me know in the comment section below. So when I was playing those games, I remember I need a lot of focus. That was kind of the main thing. Focus, attention, I needed to stay calm, you know, to, to really be able to play uh, the game for a long time. And if something goes wrong, that I still, you know, I don't get totally uh, messed or really uh, stressed. And um, I needed a lot of energy. That was really, really important. Now, MadMonk was apparently developed to provide those effects, to, to increase your focus, your attention, to give you more energy, to minimize your stress um, and improve your memory. Now, I've done a full test of it. I've been testing it for two weeks. And here's what happened during my test period. So first of all, um, you can see that um, MadMonk comes in a very, first of all, very nice package. And it comes in a bigger box, which is super nicely designed. I love it. And if you look at the capsules or the, the, the pills they have, um, they're quite different. So they look like this. So you don't sw swallow them like normal capsules, but you can like lick them and they uh, then slowly disappear in your mouth. Um, and they taste quite good. I think the taste is quite good of that. Um, also the smell, you, you can smell the blueberries. It's pretty cool. It's very unique and I really like that. Now the thing is, um, the recommended dosage is one to two pills uh, per day. That, that's what they recommend. And that's what I did. I started taking one pill per day. I took it in the morning. Um, and what happened is I got more focused. I got more energized. I felt the benefits in about uh, uh, 30 minutes after I took the pills. That was, you know, the good thing. But I had two issues uh, during the test of MedMonk. First of all, when I took two capsules, I took or two pills, I took one in the morning and I took the other one in the afternoon, I had like very severe side effects. So I had a little bit of headache. I had, um, I was kind of anxious. Um, I was very stressed basically for, for quite some hours. My heart rate increased quite dramatically. And I saw that taking two capsules, it, it was just too much for me. But when I only took one capsule or one pill, I felt much, much better. So I, I saw the benefits, I felt them immediately or in a period of about 30 minutes, and they stayed with me for about, yeah, two to three, maybe four hours at max. It, it depends from day to day, uh, but that was kind of at the average. So based on my experience, you can definitely feel some benefits. You can feel more focused, you can feel more alert if you take MadMonk. Now, when it comes to the side effects, if you take one pill per day, you should be on the safe side, especially if you take it before noon because it contains quite a lot of caffeine. So don't take it after two or 3 p.m. because you might experience sleep-related issues. It usually takes like 10 to 12 hours for all the caffeine to go out of your, your, your blood, basically. So um, if you wanna go to bed at around, let's say 10 or 11 p.m., do not take this pill after two or 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Another thing is, if you take too many pills, you can get um, anxious, like I said before, you can feel the jittery, you can feel more nervous. So it's kind of the opposite of what you wanna feel. I mean, you can experiment with one, two, maybe maximum two, I would say, uh, pills per day, but try with one, see what happens, and then you can increase the dosage if you feel like it. So as I said, the recommended daily dosage is one pill per day, and stick with that at the beginning, then you see how it works on you. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Use a hashtag AskYourInception and I'll weekly answer some of the most interesting questions that I will receive. 
Now let's talk about the dirty secret that I promised you at the beginning of this video. If you look at the ingredients of um, Mad Monk, it has quite a lot of uh, very cool ingredients in. You can find Rudiola Rosea, you can find um, ginseng, you can find um, a lot of uh, caffeine, a lot of theanine, some other ingredients. Now, if you look at the formula, it looks pretty cool. It is very standardized. There are many other nootropic supplements that have very, very similar formula. The issue with this one is that it contains 160 milligrams of caffeine. Now, I don't know how much you know about caffeine. I love caffeine, I love drinking coffee, um, I love drinking bulletproof coffee, and I love taking uh, supplements that contain caffeine. However, if you know the supplement you're taking contains too much of caffeine, usually what happens, you feel you know just too many side effects and you don't get everything out of you know nootropics that, that, that you should basically. Now with 160 milligrams of caffeine per, per capsule or per pill, that's not too much, but it is on the you know on, on the limit and on the upper limit without a doubt. I personally would love to see a supplement with a lower dosage of caffeine. If you put 100 milligrams of ca caffeine with 200 milligrams of theanine, you have the perfect combo. Here, there's too much of caffeine and too little of theanine. That's why I felt the side effects and I'm pretty sure many of you will feel the same. Another issue that I see here is that many other ingredients in this entropic stack are underdosed without any doubts. Now, I feel bad about it, but that's how it is. And what it seems that happened, and that usually happens in the tropic businesses, that you know companies they increase the level of caffeine because you can really feel the caffeine uh, quite quickly, and they decrease the dosages of other ingredients. They just put them on the list. Say hey, we have you know 10, 12, 15 ingredients, whatever, but most of them are underdosed. So you don't really get the real benefits that tropics provide. And I'm sorry to say that, but I think the same thing happened with Mad, Mad Monk. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does, but the formula mainly works because of basically three ingredients, caffeine, L-theanine, and ginseng. That's it. Other ingredients are based on my research and research of my team completely underdosed, especially if you combine them or compare them with other uh, you know, tropic supplements that are available at a similar price. You will see a huge differences there. So that's the little dirty secret Mang Monk has and I don't like it at all. Like. You know, if, if I was a gamer, if I was, you know, wanted to play games today or, you know, um, be a professional e-gamer, for example, I would want to have a nootropic supplement that would provide a lot of focus, a lot of attention, a lot of en energy, basically, um, that would, you know, make me very calm for long periods of time, but focused at the same time. And I wouldn't want to take um, capsules or pills with too much caffeine. Especially because I know a lot of gamers right now, and they, they play games in you know in the afternoon, in the evening, and if you take this caffeine pill basically like at I don't know 8 p.m. or something, you know what's gonna happen? You won't be able to fall asleep till probably you know three in the morning or something like that, and that's just um, not something that you would um, want. So the final question is: Should you avoid this product? Should you consider buying it, or should you simply go to the store and buy it? Well. In my opinion, you can consider it, but I would probably not buy it. Um, the thing, the reason for that is, uh, it, it, there, it contains just too much of caffeine, it lacks so many other nootropics, it is underdosed, and based on my experience, if you take two capsules per day or two pills per day, you will really um, feel the negative side effects, which you don't wanna feel. That's my opinion. Um, it is based on my research. I've tried over 100 plus entropic supplements and you know, I really stick to, to what I say. Now, if the guys improve their format in the future, I'll be super happy about it. I'll be the first one reporting that and I will let you know immediately. But until that is done, I think there are better tropic supplements available, not just for e-gamers, uh, for everyone else, but you know, even though they're not marketed as uh, tropics for gamers, they work very well for gamers and they can provide many more benefits that my monk can. So that's my final verdict. If you want to read more about my experience, uh, check the links below. If, and that's mo most importantly for you, if you want to check my favorite, my best nootropic supplements currently available in the market, check the links below and you will find them, especially for you guys, for gamers, you'll find you know what I would take if I were 
in your shoes. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do let me know. Don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget subscribing and I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care.